What a run of bad luck on the Dakar today. In the cars category, Nasser al didn't start this morning. Peugeot limited the damage with Cyril Depre's victory. The other pilots all lost precious minutes. In the bikes, the title holder Toby Price had to quit after a crash with a broken femur. Matthias Waltner overtook Beretta board in the day's classification. This trip to reach Bolivia made a lot of damage today, especially among the Peugeot team. From the start in San Salvador de Jujuy to Tupisa, the menu of the day over 416 km of special offered some fesh fesh, dunes crossing and high altitude. 3500 meters above sea level average, it's hard to deal with. Stefan Peteransal opened the way and made a huge navigation mistake. He lost precious minutes before getting back on the correct itinerary, almost 15 minutes. More trouble for Peugeot with technical issues on Sébastien Loeb's 3008. It cost him 20 minutes early in the stage, then the Frenchman stabilized his gap. In the meantime, Carlos Sainz managed to compete with Cyril Depré, the stage winner, for a long period, but unfortunately, he fell in a ravine in the last kilometers of the special. That sounded the knell of the Spaniard's ambitions. We went wide in this corner and rolled the car. I couldn't do anything about it. The rally is over for us. Nevertheless, two pilots were able to end less than 15 minutes behind the winner of the stage, Depré, a third different winner for Peugeot in three days. On the second step, Nico Hirvonen and his Mini, and then Nani Roma. Thanks to his victory, the first of his career behind a wheel, Depré climbs at the top of the GC ahead of his teammate Peter Ansel. Hirvonen is five minutes adrift, there are five cars within 10 minutes, the rest trails over 30 minutes behind. The day after Joan Barretta's feat, one of the Spaniards' main rivals, Australia's Sobi Price, was badly injured in a crash after 371 kilometers of ride, while the title holder was dominating the stage. The KTM Strongman winner of the second stage was taken by the medical chopper to the hospital for a broken femur. Yesterday, already eight bikers had to withdraw from the event. Whoever takes this Dakar will be a new winner in the bikes. The defending champion out, KTM were able to count on Matthias Walkner today as the Austrian took his second stage win two years after his success in Chile Cito. But I feel actually at the beginning not so good because also with the navigation still was tricky because many riders get lost and was lines everywhere. But then after kilometer 100 I feel pretty good on the bike but I don't was thinking that I, it's, it's enough for the victory. The former motocross world champion took the best over Barreda in the last dunes crossing. Far from a conservative management, Barreda was the fastest at the first eight waypoints. Despite this final setback, the man from Castellón maintained his superiority at the GC with another 10 minutes lost by Quintanilla and Sunderland to Barreda. The day's podium was completed by another Honda, that of Michael Medge of France, who progressed to the top 10 in the process. The time difference between the first and the second places is the same as between the second and tenth. He is the oldest competitor, Bolivia's Fortunato Maldonado, 71 years old, hoped to make his way to home soil for his third Dakar about his Toyota, but a deficient radiator jeopardized this beautiful sí, dream. Bolivia, realidad, of course we want to get to Bolivia, that's why we're going to try to fix this problem. Stage 5 on Friday will once more take place on high grounds, with nearly 450 kilometers of special to run on the Bolivian Altiplano. Main risk for the contestants to get lost or stuck in the sand. Since some showers could occur, it should be a demanding day.